Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run the WAM 2.1 video generation model on your MacBook. WAM 2.1 is a game changer in the world of AI video generation. It's an open source video foundation model that can be used to generate insanely realistic and creative videos from text or image prompts. The best part, you can run it using your MacBook. Let's get into it. For the installation, it's the same as the NVIDIA GPU. Please check out my previous video on installing it. I will not repeat it here. Once you have it installed on your MacBook, you can start to activate your Python environment. Make sure that you use your, the MPS flag. This will enable MacBook to run it even if it's not supported natively. Then you should be able to go to your web browser and go to the local host, port is 8188, to see the server has been loaded onto your web browser. For the WAM video workflow, I have uploaded it onto my GitHub repo. Please go to there to download the workflow and then drag it onto your UI so it will be able to show them here. For the workflow, there is a catch. Due to some reason, the default workflow sampler unit PC doesn't work on MacBook. So you will need to switch it to some other samplers such as Ola. Feel free to try other samplers as well. One thing I think is very useful for MacBook is that you can use a tip to speed the generation up. The tip is called a T-Catch. It's a custom node. I have another video that shows show you how to install it. Please go check it out. Once you have the T-Catch node installed, make sure that you select the correct model type based on the model. It's text to video 1.3b. For the other values, just use the default values. So now you should be ready to test the workflow. You can input your text prompt and then press the Q to get started. Looking at uh, the GPU monitoring dashboard, it uses about 100%. For the RAM, we look at the Python, which uses about uh, 16 gigabytes of uh, VRAM. So this is for the smaller model, 1.3 billion parameter model. I think uh, the estimated time is about, uh, about uh, six minutes, not uh, terribly slow, so I think it's still acceptable. Thanks to the T-Catch, I think it greatly speed things up. Now we see that uh, the 30 steps takes about uh, 5 minutes and 7 seconds. Speed is 10.24 uh, seconds per iteration. After the 30 step inferencing, it uh, will need uh, to do the VAE decoding. So it may take uh, maybe 1 or 2 minutes. Now let's uh, Take a look at the RAM monitoring. We see that the Python uses about 32 gigabytes and it's increasing. 33 gigabytes, 35 gigabytes. Wow, it uses quite a lot of the VRAM, even 37, 38, 39, and it just starts to use some of the swap like a SSD disk. So I think uh, from this uh, perspective, I feel like it uses uh, much, much more RAM as expected. Okay, so it finally completed uh, the process. I think uh, it uh, takes a total of 410 seconds to generate a video. 
It's this one. It's five twelve by five twelve. Wow! It's it's a tiger. It's running on the snow. Looks really nice. Let me know what you think in the comments, and please also join the Discord server to discuss about it. Thank you very much. I hope this video is useful to you. I cannot wait you to use your MacBook to generate awesome videos. Please hit the like button, share it, and subscribe to the channel for future contents. Goodbye.